Classically, surgery is not required in neuropraxic injuries where the expectation is that patients will recover fully over the course of two to three months. However, there are a number of indications where surgery is required. We now term neuropraxia conduction block, and this can be due to nerve ischemia, edema or demyelination. And surgery may be required on a number of occasions, and this patient group should be examined very closely. I term the indications for surgery the six Ds. So if there's a need for a diagnosis, if there are displaced fracture fragments or hematoma that require decompression, if there's a delay in recovery, so the nerve is not recovering in line with expectation, or if the nerve lesion deepens under observation, so the development of neuropathic pain, dry skin, etanel, these can be signs of a deteriorating nerve lesion with axonal death. And finally, if there's any doubt about diagnosis. So in summary, not all cases of neuropraxia or conduction block require surgery, but the Ds can be a reminder of those cases where surgery may be necessary.